Hey, what's going on guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Um, probably not going to be the best video. I haven't uploaded content in a long time. Looking here, the last time I uploaded a video was um, November 29, 2022. Uh, that was a short that I uploaded and then um, just regular content, uh, long form video was October 31st, 2022. So it's been a long time. Uh, it just even feels weird being on camera. And I just want to talk about a lot and uh, just where I've been. I know maybe some of you have been wondering where I've been and just what happened because um, it's been a while since I've uploaded and um, just some things I want to talk about. And I've been one wanting to make this video, but I wanted it to come natural and just get my thoughts together and just figure out what I wanted to talk about. And on top of that, I've just been busy, you know, life life stuff. Um, I was doing some work on the computer and it just kind of came to me and I wanted to just get on camera, you know, upload a video, just kind of talking and explaining everything. Um, and I, I didn't want it to be scripted. I got my little bullet points of stuff I want to talk about, but as you can see by the title, I don't know what I'm going to title this yet, but I do not do photography anymore, right? Me and my wife, we shut down, uh, the photography business and yeah, it's, it was, it was a tough, tough decision. Um, it was one of those things where we kind of just stopped doing it Well, we were doing it less. And then we just kind of completely stopped doing it. And we didn't really honestly even really talk about it till like later after that, like we talked about it, we just kind of faded away from it, I guess you could say. Um, and I can't really speak for my wife. I kind of know her thoughts on it a little bit, but I'd rather her just say it, but she's at work. Um, but as, as far as me, you know, I would say the reason that, you know, I wanted to shut things down and just stop is because I wasn't getting that fulfillment anymore from photography that I once had, right? It, it was a, a, the biggest passion of mine. I would get out, you know, get, uh, get off from work hop straight into it, just working on photography stuff, trying to grow the business, you know, but that passion for it just faded, you know, and not only that, but I would also say the stuff that we dealt with as far as like clients, um, and, and things like that, it just kind of, it just kind of killed it for me, man. And, and I'm not trying to make excuses, you know, a hundred percent, you know, except that we quit, we shut it down. You know, it took me a while to kind of just accept that because I'm not a quitter. I don't like, you know, like stop. I don't like stop to stop doing things when I start something, you know, and I feel like I didn't even reach the best that I could be. And I stopped before that. So I kind of do feel like I quit. Right. That was something that took me a long time to really get past that, which is probably why I didn't even want to make a video and talk about it because I was really struggling with that part of it. I felt like a quitter, right? Um, and I know who I am and I'm not a quitter, but I also know that, you know, a big part of life is just growth. You know, sometimes you have to close a door for another door to open up. You know, it's okay to, you know, go down a new path and start something new and, and to stop doing something that you've been doing for a long time. And I guess also what goes into that is because I put a lot of effort into it. You know, it was something that me and my wife worked really, really hard at. So it was just hard to kind of just shut that down and, and to stop doing it because I put so much into it. So hopefully uh, that makes sense. But and then, you know, as far as the client side of it, you know, as a photographer running a business, you deal with a lot of BS and things when it comes to clients, you know, people ghosting you. Uh, just people, rude people, just all types of stuff. You know, that's, that's some stuff that a lot of people don't understand going into, you know, starting a photography business, dealing with all that type of stuff. And it just kind of weighs on you, man. It weighs you down. I didn't even speak on like, well, I didn't even mention like the social media aspect of it, you know, trying to keep up on social media and you see other people, you know, having success and those things types of things, those things weigh, weigh on you too, you know, well, at least me, I can't speak for anybody else. Uh, so I think it was a mixture of everything 
that just kind of killed it for me. It killed the passion. It killed the drive to get better. And I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I don't know what other way to say it. I just, because of all these things, I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't have that same feeling that I used to have. So hopefully that makes sense. Just kind of wanted to explain that. That's the main part of this video. I wanted to explain like why I stopped doing photography while we shut down the business. Um, you know, we still do photography. My wife actually, she's done more shoots than me since then, just free shoots. Um, I think she may have did a couple paid shoots or something. Were they paid? Well, I think, I think the people just kind of gave her money, but she did them for free. Um, but I, I, I've taken a long break from, uh, shooting just because I needed to step away from it. Um, and just, you know, kind of get my head straight and just wanted to step away from the camera. Honestly, like I said, I was very obsessed with photography. It was something that I was constantly working on and, you know, it did feel good to just kind of step away from it, especially with like dealing with the pressure of the client side and, you know, something else that I, I really struggled with was the, like the shooting portion, like the actual photo shoot, like I used to get so much anxiety before these shoots, like in worry. And it, it, it was crazy, man. That kind of weighed me down too. Like it was just this constant state of just like anxiety and worry. And I think it's a word. It's, it's like a performance anxiety, I guess is the right phrase for that. And I just put so much pressure on myself to just perform. And it was just constantly just thinking about that, like honestly, like weeks leading up to shoots and like weddings, just constantly thinking about that, thinking about, you know, everything that could go wrong, even though I was, you know, we would always check off every box of preparing for a shoot, you know, just that worry of just performing, right? And I guess that's when it comes to any type of hobby that's similar to photography, you know, I guess graphic design or anything else, but that anxiety can weigh you down. I'm not even going to lie it can weigh you down. So as you can see, it's just, it's just a lot of different things that go into photography in the business side. And I've talked about that a lot on the channel. I've talked about my struggles. I've talked about how it's not easy because it, it isn't easy. And uh, I'm not going to sit on here and say that it is easy because people need to know getting into this, like what, what you're going to deal with. And you're going to deal with a lot of different feelings, emotions, ups and downs. It's honestly like a roller coaster. So um, everybody's not cut out to do this. You may do it for a while and see like, this isn't for me, you know, maybe because you just didn't know how it was and you thought it was for you. But the more that you did it, you came to see that, okay, this isn't for me. Like this doesn't really fit me in the way I am in my lifestyle, my lifestyle. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that. Um, you know, and, and like I said, running a photography business is hard, man. Just if, if you're getting into this, just know that it's, it's a grind, man. It's, it's a grind. <laughs> I, I, I don't know no other way to say it. It's, it's a grind. It ain't going to happen overnight. Um, I know you see all these people having success and, and booking crazy amounts of clients. Trust me. I know it takes a lot of work to get to that point. Like it's just not going to happen quick in a lot of cases. And a lot of people just don't see that work leading up to getting to that point. It takes a lot of work to get to, to get to that point. But, um, yeah, man, that was kind of long winded. Um, like I said, didn't want to script this or anything, just straight off the dome, just kind of how I feel and, um, just the thoughts that I've been thinking and, and wanted to share that. But I want to share some more things uh, with y'all. Um, I guess I want to say, you know, just thank you to everyone who supported the channel, um, who still supports the channel. I still get lots of comments, lots of views. Um, and just, you know, the people who supported me on this journey, you know, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I really do appreciate it. A lot of y'all, I've chopped it up with you know, even outside of YouTube on, you know, Instagram and other platforms and, you know, had some really good conversations and, and just got to know some really cool people, man, like-minded people. Um, so just want to show my appreciation to the people who, who have been, um, 
subscribe to this channel for a while, watching all the content, you know, um, just want to thank y'all so much um, because it was something that really, you know, motivated me and kept me going and, and wanting to upload more content and stuff like that. So I really do appreciate y'all. And um, yeah, you, I guess you could tell by the way I'm talking too. And I wrote this down, like discussing the future of this channel. I don't know what the future of this channel is, <laughs> which is probably why I haven't uploaded in so long because it's like my channel is based around photography and I don't do photography anymore like that, you know, and I talk about a lot of business stuff. And like I said, we kind of stopped doing, stopped taking on paid clients. So, um, yeah, that's why I haven't uploaded, you know, it does suck because I do have a passion for creating content, but I also understand like YouTube, YouTube, I have multiple YouTube channels. I understand how YouTube works. I understand that I built an audience around photography. So it's like, excuse me, I know if I upload a different type of content, I'm going to lose people, which, you know, I understand that. Um, but I, I don't know what the future of this, this channel is. I, I really don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, what do y'all think? Like, are y'all interested in, you know, different types of content? You know, as you can see, like, my last couple, I think it was, I did a couple videos before I stopped uploading. I started talking about kind of different stuff. Like this one, I said, why most creatives struggle to make money with their creative business. Um, every creative entrepreneur should do this. So I was talking about stuff like that. I've also talked about different side hustles um, for creatives, freelancing. That's something that I've talked about in previous videos because that's something I do outside of photography. So maybe I could talk about that stuff. Um, but I know that people subscribe for photography and the photography business stuff. So um, just kind of been stuck there. That's why I haven't uploaded. I've kind of said to myself, if I do want to start uploading again and just start a new channel, because, you know, like I said, people subscribe for one thing, and then if you, you know, upload something different, then nine times out of ten, they're not going to watch um, because they subscribe for that specific topic. Um, but feel free to share your thoughts. I don't know if y'all would be interested in, you know, a different type of content. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what type of content I would upload. I guess it would be more like lifestyle, just more content about me, honestly, just me and my life and the things that I do. Um, and yeah, that's, that's definitely a challenge with YouTube too. Uh, you know, I can make a whole video about that of like kind of niching down, you put yourself in a box and then if you try to pivot, you know, it's, it's very, very hard, you know, and, um, I understood what I was doing with this channel, you know, I guess I thought about the future, but I guess I didn't think it all the way through. Um, cause it definitely would have been smarter to upload, you know, different types of content earlier on um, versus, you know, kind of growing that whole subscriber base off of photography and then trying to pivot. I would, I think it's harder that way. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. I don't want to make any promises. I don't even know if I'll continue to upload on this channel. It does suck because I put a lot of work into it, a lot of effort, uh, a lot of late nights, just a lot of freaking work. It's hard to grow a YouTube channel. It is very hard. Um, anybody who's a creator, they understand that if you've been in the game for years, it, it is very hard. Um, so I just kind of want things to come to me naturally. So we'll see what the future holds and, uh, we'll just go from there, but just wanted to make this video, you know, check in with y'all. It's been nine months. <laughs> I know it took a while, but you know, like I said, it's, it's, you know, I didn't know what to talk about. Um, I wanted to get my thoughts together and I wanted it to come to me, uh, naturally, but, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know how y'all been doing. Um, what's some of your thoughts on some of the stuff that I shared? Um, I love to hear from y'all and see who's still here. If anybody is still here, like I said, I still get comments and stuff from a lot of my videos. I get comments pretty much like every day. Um, but yeah, I like to see who's still here and, um, you know, what you've been up to and if you would support uh, me, you know, putting out some different type of content, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully y'all have a great day. Thank you for listening and uh, peace.